Hey guys, welcome back to 30 Days of Laravel. This is day six. Today we are going to talk about the route method. And you might be hearing a little bit of an echo because I don't have any furniture here yet. So sorry for that. And I have here our project and the route method simply returns the path for a given route. And you may not know this, but routes can have names. Here we have a resource route, and when you, when you use the resource uh, method, it automatically generates the names of the route. So let's run PHP artisan route list, and you can see that we have a name here. So we have posts.index, posts.store.create, and .show. If I were to create a new route here, for instance, let's say route get test, and this is just a function. So we're just going to return a response saying, okay, like this. You can see that this route does not have a name. Let me show you first what the route helper does. If we go into Tinker and we type route post index, you can see that we get uh, the URL of the post, of the page. And if we do post show, it's going to fail because we need a parameter. We need the post. So if we happen to pass post equals one, we get post one. If we pass three, we get three. And if we pass uh, an instance of post, so if I pass in the first post, we've talked about uh, route model binding already, and Laravel will automatically get the ID of that post for you. Um, so I have this route and it does not have a name. How do I get a name for it? Well, you simply have to pass in the name method and we can call this test. And if I come back here and run route list, you can see that this, this route has the name test. So if we go into Tinker and we do route test, we get the path. Now, this is very useful for several reasons. First of all, this means that you can change URLs but if you keep the same name, it won't break your application. So I might want to change posts for articles and I could just skip it as post uh, on my code. And you can also use search and replace. But more than that, let's say you wanted to write this URL right here on your application. What you would do is probably something like you would have a link, right? And you something like like this, and you would say post and passing the post ID using blade. Now, this is messy, this is very messy. You can see that this is not the best solution. Now, if you were using uh, named routes, you could just say route post show, and you don't even have to pass an array. Since it has only one argument, you can just pass in the post like this. Super readable, and you can play with it um, any way you want. Uh, I suggest you check the documentation because you can also do some other good things with names and you can also change the names that the route resource generates for you. Um, another thing is when you have routes inside groups, so if you haven't heard about route groups yet, I suggest you take a look. You could do route, right, and then you could say, I don't know, let's say prefix. Um, prefix is going to be admin and then group and then we pass a function like this so with this if we run php artisan route list you can see the task is now under admin but the name is still test if you want to add names to to groups like if you want this to be prefixed with something you can use the s method so you could say admin and run. So, but now we have another problem. You can see that it's just admin test. So what I suggest is just put a dot here or how I like it, like this. This is the syntax that I personally like. It gives you clarity that this is under admin. But either way works. You can just add a dot here and you have everything with admin dot prefix. So, this is how you use named routes, and I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson.